Hi everyone. In this video I'll be going over a grasshopper script that gives you the option of creating a pattern arrayed uh, through a grid. So let me show you what it's capable of doing. You can take a polygon, you can put it to a grid, you can expand the grid, you can adjust the grid size, you could also adjust the size of the polygon you can even shape change this which type of polygon you're using and also allows you to fill it that that shape for a different effect so let me show you how I went about doing this I first started by creating a polygon which that's what you're seeing here this polygon is um, and that's the basic uh, function. It's a polygon here. It gives you the size here under the radius. That allows you to make it bigger or smaller. Then we have the polygon num number, which allows you to create the different shapes. So those are the, you know, once you go past seven or eight, it starts becoming more of a circle. So let's keep it at four there. And then here, you can fill it the size for a different effect. Once we have that, then we go about creating the grid. So the grid is this basic function here. It's a square grid, SQ grid. And this grid allows us to create a straightforward grid. The grid size is 17 by 17. That's the size and the grid array I have it as a square so it's controlled through just one slider and that we have here once you have that grid what you want to extract from this grid are the ex the ex the there's this is basically a cell so you want to take the cell corner points and midpoint so that's what I did here you have that grid and if you see here the C doesn't mean curves it means cells and so it gives you the each each individual cell and from there I picked the centroid or the the center of the polygon of the cell which creates that center point and then I took this bottom points as a tree and it gives you the outside corner points I joined those two together with this one to give you an idea of how we created that hexagonal grid and ultimately arriving at having a pattern arrayed through that grid. So if we increase the grid size, we can see that this the the size changes and the space between them changes if we say we want less grids we can also adjust that now we could also go too far and or too little here and we can see it changes the pattern size here we have the polygon so now we have a pentagon a hexagon and you see it starts overlapping so this is where we would want to decre decrease some of the sizes and then ultimately have a fillet which can end up becoming a circle in the end so those are the basic uh, that's a basic way how you can create a grid using a pattern now I am going to try after after I finish this video to see if I can take this grid that I create here and I can if I can make it flow along a surface so I'm gonna be trying that seeing if I come up with anything interesting and then I'll share it with you guys if I do I hope you enjoyed the video thank you very much for watching